So hello friends, in today's video, we are going to discuss about the color lash in the DWDM system. So in today's video, we will discuss what is the color lash, what was the limitation in the previous traditional OIDM system and how the color lash can be achieved and what is the setup of the color lash in the CDC system. So we will discuss all these things in this video. Okay, so let's start. So traditionally or previous OIDM, you can say the FOIDM. So I have taken here the example of CMD44. I have taken the example of Sienna CMD44 with the 100 gigahertz uh, channel spacing. So before understanding colorless, we must need to know what is the limitation in the previous Rodham systems. So suppose I have just taken this the FODM example in which every port has a fixed wavelength frequency. You can see here that like port number one, port number two is associated for the channel number one whose frequency is 1513.33. So this port number one, two, for the channel number one is fixed for this frequency. So here is like that. Originally, Rodem technology dedicated a separate port for each wavelength. So you can see here for the uh, previous Rodem system, every separate port have a fixed wavelength. Means on that particular port, you can assign uh, the predefined wavelength. In the fixed environment, each port on the Rodem has a one plus one mapping with the colors, or you can say the wavelength or frequency. One to one mapping, it means one port is fixed for one wavelength only. It must be clear instruction and have proper documented for the connection mode. Means you must need a proper documentation like which port is connected to which transponder and for which wavelength is connected to which port. It requires a physical intervention for configuration change. If you want to change any configuration, like if you want to change uh, the transponders uh, with a wavelength, a different wavelength. So you just you must need to uh, assign technician and uh, just remove that transponder to from this port number one to port number three to change its wavelength. Physical change requirement prevent the network automation. We can not remotely configure. It requires downtime, operational expenses, and time to do any changes. And there's a lot of human error possibilities also there. So we will discuss in the uh, through an example in the next slide. But uh, uh, the main point is that like these are the limitation when we are using the previous OIDM system, which was FODM like fixed operator, fixed optical ad drop multiplexer. So let's see. Before colorless, the limitation of previous traditional loadum. So I have taken the example case one. This is the uh, CMD44 50 gigahertz OIDM. So basically the CMD44 comes in the two variant like uh, odd channels, odd channels module and the even channel module. So I have just taken an example of the odd channel module. You can see here the channel number one, channel number three, channel number 85, channel number 87 like that. So here the odd channel is taken and the different module is there for the even channels. So you can see here the channel number one in and channel number one out 1530.30.33 and 1530.33 channel in and channel out is fixed for the port number one and port number two. So the channel number one, uh, you can say that this channel is associated with port number one and port number two. In the same way, you can see here this port number 85 and port number 86 is associated with this frequency 1563.86. And this is the common output. This is the common input. Common input is 89 and common output is 90. You can see this is the self view or physical view of the CMD44. I have just taken the port number one. So port number one, port number two is associated for the channel number one and channel number one in and channel number one out. And its wavelength frequency is 1513.33. You can see here one transponder is there. And this is port number one, two whose frequency is 1530. Port number 34, this is the combination of port number 34, which is associated with the frequency 1531.12. So every every port, every combination of port is fixed for the particular wavelength. You can see this trans this TX of the transponder is connected to channel in of port number one. And you can see uh, port number two means channel number one out is connected to the RX of the transponder. So this is like the physical connectivity. And this transponder is associated with the frequency 1513.30. So let's see what happens. The transponder transmitting the wavelength 1513.33. This transponder is transmitting the wavelength this and receiving the wavelength the same wavelength and connected to port number one on OADM. This is the OADM. So it is connected to port number one two, who has fixed frequency 1513.33. Means this port has a fixed frequency. 
So the transponder is connected to this. The transponder is trans transmitting the same frequency, uh, which is associated with the support frequency. And what happens? The frequency matches and the traffic will pass. So this is the case number one. Before colorless, the limitation of previous traditional rhodum. Uh, now we will see the case number two. So this is again the same diagram. This is the OADM. This is the port number three and four. So this is port number three and port number four. So port number three is for channel number three in and port number four is for channel number three out. And frequency associated with the port number three and port number four is 15, 31.12. So let's see. This is the port number one, two, whose frequency is 15, 30. This is the port number three, four, whose frequency is 15, 31.12. All the frequencies are in the nanometers. This is the transponder TXRX. TX is connected to port number one, and RX is uh, port connected to port number two. This TX wavelength changed from 1530 to 1531 by the transponder. Suppose the transponder is tunable, and we have just tuned the frequency from tuned the frequency of this transponder from 1530.33 to 1531.12. What will happen? Let's see. What happens if the transponder changing wavelength with full band tunable laser and you start transmitting the wavelength 1531.12 but this transponder is still connected to the port 1 or 2 port 1 2 of the rotom which is a fixed frequency 1530 so the traffic will not pass as the port 1 is fixed for wavelength 1530 and blocks all other frequency which are receiving from the transponder so the traffic will not pass because this wavelength is blocked this wavelength 1531.1112 is blocked by this port and the transponder is still connected to this so the wavelength is mismatched and the traffic will not pass okay so let's see the before colorless the limitation of previous traditional system example case number three uh, so again this is the cmg 4400 gigahertz them. this is the port number three four whose frequency is 1531.12 1, you can see this is a transponder wavelength 1531.12 this is the port number 1 2 whose associated frequency is 1530.33 and this is the port number 3 port number 4 whose associated frequency is 1531.12 so the tx of the transponder is now connected to the port number 3 and the rx of the transponder is now connected to the port number 4 so let's see what happens now the cabling need to change physically from port number 1 in or port number 2 out Two, port number three in port number four out. so there is a manual interface and is required someone need to go to the site and just need to change cabling from this port to this port and now the traffic will pass because this port number three four has a fixed, uh, fixed wavelength 1531.12 so it will pass this frequency and blocks all other frequency and the same frequency is coming from the transponder so that this frequency is passed when it is connected to port number three four so the device OADM where ports have fixed wavelength called the FODM. To remove the limitation, the colorless rotom comes into the existence. So OADM with the fixed wavelength port. So we have discussed these things already, but let's see again. This is the CMD44. So CMD44 had the two components, MUX and DMUX part, MUX AWG and DMUX AWG. So all the channel, all the incoming channel is connected to this MUX AWG and all the outgoing channel is uh, going out from this DMUX. AWG. So you can see here, this is the channel number one in, port number one connected. This is the associated wavelength frequency. This is the port number two from which the channel number one is going out. In the same way, port number three is connected for the channel number three in, and port number four is for the channel number three out. Port number 85 is connected for the channel number 85 in, and for channel number 85 out, this is port number 86. So you can see this is the channel number 87 port number 87 and port 88 is for the channel number 87 out this is the common in port which is 89 and this is the common out port which is port number 90 so all the channels are multiplexed and going out from this common out port and all the channels which is coming from the coming common in port are demultiplexed from these ports and going out but the it is called the fixed wavelength per port because every port is fixed for a particular wavelength so this wavelength cannot be changed port number 88 and port number 87 these two port is fixed for this wavelength frequency 1564.68 you can see here this is the chart for every port number with channel number in channel number out associated port number and associated wavelength frequencies 
given here. So port number one, uh, this is channel number one, five, nine, three, all the odd channel number is for the different module and all the even channel a number has the different module. So what is the colorless? You can see here a system uh, such uh, there is such a system in which every port has a capability or every port has the property to receive or transmit any wavelength that is called the colorless. Ports are not wavelength dependent. Suppose this is the mux demux system. So there is a, there must be a such mux demux system in which every port has the capability to receive or transmit any number uh, any wavelength or this port is not wavelength specific any port can receive any wavelength or color so here is the example of a, a, a smug demux device in which you can say every port this one two three four five six seven eight nine or any number of ports um, having the mux demux having the capability of receiving and transmitting any wavelength means these ports are tunable means these ports can tune on any frequency to receive a particular lambda or to transmit a particular lambda so this is the colorless so odm with color independent per port so let's see what is the setup for the colorless system this is the cmd 8 cross 16 this is the colorless channel mux tmux 8 cross 16 this is the device or you can say this is the, such type of channel mux tmux in which all the ports having the capability or property to send or receive any channels you can see here this is the combination or the, this is the selfie of the ccmd 8 cross 16 this is the block diagram and there is a inside of CCMD, there is a system called MCS. There is a device or there is a module called MCS. So you can see here, this is the MCS structure. Multicast system. Multicast switch. And this is the transponder. So there are in the CCMD 8 cross 16, there are 16 ports. You, you can see this uh, 16 ports mean there is a combination of 1, 2, 3, 4. So for each channel, there is a 2 port, 1 and 2. So there are 16 channels can connect it to this CCMD at cross 16 so you can see here 16 transponder connected to 16 port of CCMD these are different transponder one transponder two transponder three transponder and each transponder can tune a particular wave, particular wavelength to receive a particular wavelength or to transmit whatever lambda it is required so we can configure this so this is the example of colorless system colorless rodent system this is the self view of the CCMD. This is the physical view of the CCMD at cross 16. You can see there are the physical ports, port number 1, 2, 3, 4, and the same like 31, 32. So the 16 transponders can connect it to this CCMD at cross 16. And this is the common port. Means all the in all the in channels are multiplexed and all the out channels are demultiplexed. Here you can see this is a transponder connected to port number 1, 2. So suppose this transponder is sending a particular wavelength lambda one. And what happens if we require this transponder to receive or transmit the lambda two? We just need to configure it remotely. That's all. There is no physical intervention is required. That transponder is start to tune, is start to tune on the lambda two and is start receiving and transmitting the lambda two without any physical changes. So this is this is the beauty of the colorless system. Any port can receive or send any transmit any wavelength that is the colorless it means the port is not wavelength dependent. You can see here any wavelength, any wavelength can be dropped, any wavelength can be transmitted. So we can conclude that the colorless system is such type of arrangement in the DWDM system on which any wavelength can be dropped or any port of the device. Colorless is the ability of the device or system to receive any wavelength or frequency or color or any port of the device. Colorless rodem fulfill this requirement. Colorless rodem is eliminate the one plus one mapping between the physical port and the wavelength color. So this colorless uh, colorless rodem or this is the this system or you can say this is the arrangement in the DWDM system just eliminate the one plus one mapping. This port is not now this port or uh, is not fixed for a particular lambda. This feature is one of the fundamental building blocks for automating the network. Reducing optical expenses, operational expenses, reducing downtime, and ultimately increasing customer satisfaction. And it also human intervention, human error intervention is also removed. So the device 
where ports can receive any wavelength called the rodem. Colorless rodems. By using CCMD 8 plus 16, CCMD 12, CCMD 8 plus, uh, 8 plus 24, we can drop any wavelength on any port. So all these uh, devices, or you can say all these MUX and DMUX is the colorless. So for the colorless system, these devices is needed. So what is the requirement for the colorless system? For colorless system, a tunable transponder and a colorless MUX DMUX is required. These two systems is required for the colorless setup. So this is all about the colorless in the DWM system. Thank you.